Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy, G.O.D. Zilla. Um, music has always been a part of my life. It's, it's literally in my genes. My grandfather from my mother's side and all five of his brothers were in a mariachi band in the early 30s. And my father was a lead singer and bass player of his own band that played all kinds of genres of music, uh, Spanish music in the 70s and actually toured the country. So I think as a young child, you know, music was a third parent. As I became a teen in the early 90s, hip hop hit, hit the streets hard, you know, and uh, I wanted to be down with the neighborhood clique down the block. And the rest is pretty much history. I've been producing and writing ever since. I don't believe that there will ever come a moment, you know, when I decide making music is no longer worth it. Absolutely not. You know, music is a crucial, crucial part of my life. At times it can become therapy. You know, I think to say that music is no longer worth it would mean you were creating music as an attempt to make it a career as opposed to creating music for the love of it first. You know, for me, the love and excitement of making music came first. You feel what I'm saying? As I became a little more uh, knowledgeable about the music industry, I think that's when I was. That's when I decided to pursue it full throttle as a potential career. You know, if I had one wish concerning my music, it would be that my music not only reaches everyone that loves music as much as I do, but that my message is acknowledged. I think acknowledgement is important to every artist that creates something from scratch. You know, the want to have somebody tell you, hey, I love your work of art. You know, your artwork inspires me. That means everything, man. If, at the end of the day, if you're not getting that, I, then it's not worth it. The only thing that keeps me going when adversity comes my way, because I had a, a very close relationship with Mr. Adversity from, from the very beginning of my musical journey. But I think your threshold has to be extremely high to make it in this monster of a business. You know, you know what they say, a setback is only a setup for a comeback. I like that. So the progress I've made from the 90s to now is definitely my fuel to keep on going. You know, there was one thing I wanted my fans to know about me, you know, it would be that every time I am making music, every ch every sample I chop, every drum percussion I record, every bar I write, every vocal I lay, every ad lib I lay, I'm thinking of the reaction that they'll get when they hear it. You know, all the music I make is definitely for them. Uh, old school hip hop or new school hip hop? Which do I prefer and why? Both. I love the evolution of hip hop. I love the fact that we're still here after so long. You need that diversity of music. It's the spices of life. You know, new sounds plus new feelings equals new fans. You know, that's what gives us our longevity. But the styles of hip hop resurface every so often. You know, there's always a trace of old school and new school due to the influences old school had on us. What sets you apart from every artist on the planet? Oh, I've always hated this question. Look, nothing under the sun is original. So to say that I bring something to hip hop's table that nobody before me brought already would be a lie. You know, I love what I do and I'm damn good at it. I don't want to be apart from the hip hop community. I want to be a part of the hip hop community.